Good evening, Jessica Van Vonderen with ABC News. It's an idea that hasn't been seriously raised in a generation, letting states levy a share of income tax to pay for ballooning health costs. Malcolm Turnbull says it's a rare chance to fix the Federation, but Labor says taxes will rise. Political editor Chris Ullman. The Prime Minister has turned his mind to weighty matters. The Federation must work better. Ahead of a meeting with premiers to thrash out hospital funding, he's thinking big. What we're talking about is the most fundamental reform to the Federation in generations. The problem is states need more money to cover ballooning health costs. The states do not raise enough of the revenue that they spend. His solution would see a radical shift of taxing power back to the states. We, the federal government, will reduce our income tax by an agreed percentage and allow state governments to levy an income tax equal to that amount. What's proposed is the Commonwealth drops its tax take by, say, 2%. The states could then levy their own tax of up to 2%, but they'd lose Commonwealth grants of the same dollar value. The gain is to the people. The gain is to greater accountability, greater transparency. And the sting is in the tail. On the longer term, a state should be free to lower that amount or indeed raise it. The Treasurer disavowed the idea of states raising more tax just hours later. Well, then the Prime Minister has, has, I don't think, has gone that far ultimately. Labor Prime Minister John Curtin. The states gave up their income tax powers in World War II, so Labor agrees this is a radical plan. A truly extraordinary set of announcements. But the opposition leader sees only one end. The one thing you can be certain about Mr Turnbull's tax plan is that Australians will be paying more tax. It's too sketchy for the Queensland Premier. This is the detail from Malcolm Turnbull. Not general. acceptable. South Australia's Premier has proposed converting tide grants into a share of tax revenue. That would give us access to a growth tax which more approximates the rate of growth of healthcare costs. But he and others are wary that the plan might see tax rates vary across the country. If there's any suggestion that uh, the federal government will lower income tax and states like Tasmania will be expected to increase income tax and clearly that's not workable, not something we would support. For a big idea, this plan had a strange birth, dropped at a suburban football ground without fanfare or detail. The premiers will want more than a concept when they arrive in Canberra tomorrow and they'll want more money for health. Chris Yulman, ABC News, Canberra. And with the federal election looming, the ABC wants to know what matters to you. What issues do you care about and what policies would you like to hear politicians pitch? Have your say via the ABC News website and tell us what you think.